so welcome back to Bayonetta 2. Sometime in June I'll be recording the Halloween video and I'll let you know when it's done so I can stop bothering you. Uh, my game up there is almost done. Um, so if you don't mind me, I'll be right back. Apparently I'm home alone. <laughs> I could be playing Resident Evil right now, except I'm not. Okay, actually right now I could I could do it now, but I'm gonna wait. Just a little longer. I already did it, I already made the video once. I just decided now nah, I'm gonna take it down because that wasn't really good. I mean, I want to give you a warning right now. I'm going to give you a spooky warning. I mean, I understand it's supposed to be Halloween and whatever, but uh, yeah, I look horrifying. <laughs> I don't wear any makeup because, well, I mean, it comes with makeup. I don't. I'm not wearing it, so. But I am wearing something else. <laughs> What do you think? No, 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 no. No, not one of those. What do you think I'm wearing? Go down your head. Huh? Duh. What do you think? Huh? Let's have a stupid question. Obviously, you know what I'm going to be wearing. So I'm just giving you a warning. I am going to be wearing a wig, so. If it looks horrifying, that's not my problem. <laughs> Actually, it is my problem. <laughs> it's more your problem than my problem. So, anyways, let's get back into this. you are listening to more tunes. So, I mean, if there's ever a long period of time where I'm not talking, it's probably because I'm jamming out my headphones that really suck. I mean, actually, these headphones aren't bad. The only thing bad about these headphones is that the friggin' it keeps cutting. The one earbud keeps headphone. If like I wear it on my left side, like have the wire okay here let me show you I'll have the wire frick no uh, I'll have the wire like this and then it just keeps cutting out I have the wire like this it won't cut out which is kind of annoying like, I'm not even touching it it's like eh, 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 it just makes those noises <laughs> all right whatever um this song's pretty much over so all right there. All right, let's get into it. Cathedral Cascades, here we go. Is it playing? Is it not connected? It wasn't connected.
What the hell? I can become a serpent? Skew, Pastor! Alright, skew, and then swim. Mm -hmm. That's a weird hairstyle. <laughs> I'm gonna take this two by four to your head and go frick, uh, funk, excuse me. Yeah, you shouldn't poke fun at one of those people. Also, I just remember that this is probably going to be a little bit longer than the first one. What does it say? The entrance to the cathedral is blocked. Excuse me. I'll just have to look for another way to get in. Oh, of course. And this another way to get in is going to take us hours. Oh, look, another book. What is this one? City of Water? Oh, Atlantis? No, that's the Lost City. Never mind. Water Capital, that's my name. That's my name for this town. Noah Tun is surrounded by oceans and lakes. The sea provides more than enough for the residents to, to sustain themselves. Sustain! Is it like uh, Watertown from, uh, what is it called? Or is it Dale from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> sea provides more than enough to... Okay, the snow from the peak of the of Fimbleventer melts into the river that flows to the base of the mountain. The river provides drinking water for Noah Tun's inhabitants and then eventually collects to form a breathtaking lake. Ooh. At the lake, there is a cathedral of Cascades, an ancient piece of architecture with a very mystifying presence. Though some of this ancient building still holds together, including its unique pointed roof, the pathway that once connected the city to the mountain's peak has crumbled to the bottom of the lake. Great! What do you want me to do about it? Why did they go in? Is that a bed? Oh, I'm a, I'm a water snake. I'm a water snake. What are you gonna do? Oh, no. I'm a water snake out of here. I'm a water snake my way out of here. I can't control the friggin' snake that well, though. <gasps> dash 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 What's over here? Uh, what's in here? Mm. Oh look! Why, why are the birds glowing red? I'm gonna kill that bird. Oh look! I don't really think I need to go in though. Hey, is this the place where uh, Grindelwald was holding his meeting for the war? Underground graveyard? Oh, it's a graveyard? Never mind. Okay. Right. There is said to be a resting place for the servants of God in the Cathedral Cascade submerged underground. The locals told me of a terrible guardian that prowls the corridors, devouring the soul of any fool who trespasses in that sacred place. The people of this town must be fed up with me sticking my inqu inquisitive nose where it doesn't belong. Why else would they concoct such ludicrous tales? A ludicrous tale. The phrase, servants of God, calls to mind images of ordained prophets passing down divine wisdom. I imagine these disciples also played a part in the shadowy past of which the wit of the witch and the sage. I will find clues of, to the origin of these clans somewhere in this cathedral. I can feel it. 
The natives down here don't know who they're dealing with. It takes more than a few tired ghost stories to put a damper on the journal. I knew it was Luca! <laughs> the guy writing all of these. The journalistic flame of one Mr. Luca Redgrave. Oh, yeah! I knew Luca was writing all these! I knew it! I'm like, who else would write? Like, the only person in this story that's actually a journalist other than the dad that's now dead. What did you do? Old. Oh, I gotta jump. No. What does this do? I can feel a strange energy similar to Loki's pulsating, similar to Loki's pulsating through the object that appeared. It seems to be some kind of device. I'll try to get it up and get it up and running. Um. How exactly do I do that? Do I shoot it? Obviously not. Ah, that's a chest. So. I mean, uh, ooh, another broken witch heart. Okay. I mean, unless I do have to go back over there. What's this? Oh, that's the birdie. Okay. What does the bird do? What does the bird do? Frick! I bet you I gotta beat it with some of my magic powers. Nope. <laughs> oh, wait. Really? Well, I guess my turn to be a pole dancer, I suppose. Hey, look! The bridge has been restored. Of course, there's gonna be some. Uh, why is there a coffin? Oh, what the hell are you? Your pain, pain and panic. Reporting for duty. Give him, like, the Morpheus body and, like, the Mike Tyson tattoo, and that's basically what Rodan is. Give him Morpheus' body and the Mike Tyson tattoo. Wait, you only have one bar of health? Why is it purple? Shouldn't it be yellow? I feel like this isn't it though. It's gonna be like this part, this part of the fight, and then there's gonna be one more part. Wait, is this just gonna be a giant boss battle, and then that's gonna be like the whole level? I hate these. <laughs> I mean, I like how short they are. That just makes it easier for me to post them. Also, it just seems like a lazier version of me just not doing an extra, doing a level. You do realize how short the first series would have been if I did that. If I just did, oh, the boss battle, and then a normal level. Is that a unicorn? It is a unicorn. Well, sort of. I got the plant. I took no damage. Nice. You're not gonna shoot something else down there, are you? You're gonna shoot a whole bunch of water. Give me those. Snake with me. Okay. Oh, hold it. Oh, hey, look. No, I don't want to go in there. Why would I want to? I don't like that. What's that over there? <gasps> Another book! Which one is this? Trademark? I think you need TM for it to be trademark. 
Alright. Crests are often used to show the lineage of an and ancestry of a people. The Umbra and Lumen also used such crests to represent their clans. The symbols were based on the object of each clan's respective ideology. The moon for the witches and the sun for the sages. These distinctive symbols uh, do I got time? etched upon every Lumen or Umbran object of any importance make an investigative journalist's job easy. A single glance tells you from which culture an object came from. The Umbran tombs sealed away by a Lumen are, are a unique example. With an Umbran seal on a tomb and a Lumen seal on the marker atop it, they bear the mo motives of both the sun and the moon. A crest also exists for Aesir, the god of chaos, carvings of their sim of this similar familiar site around Noatun. Made up of a series of overlapping diamonds, each component is said to represent a single layer in the matrix of time and space that forms our universe. There is a piece of metal embedded within Aesir's crest that shines with an eerie glow. I've heard it contains some deeper significance, but I'm going to need a bit more time to crack that particular chestnut. Okay. No, stop doing that. Ah, my back is really itchy. Alright, what's in here? Ooh, I'll take those. Nope, my alarm's going off. Why do you have an alarm set for 12? I don't fucking know. I gotta, I gotta learn to turn off my alarms. I mean, summer's coming up in about a few this weeks, it. so. The bridge to the heavens should be right above us. Are you sure? <laughs> Not really. Not really, huh? But you're right. This is it. Call it a woman's intuition. <laughs> woman's intuition? What kind of silly comic book shit is that? You still don't know what think about it. Let's just say I have plenty of experience with nothing coming to mind. What? I spent 500 years not knowing who I was. I only found out the truth recently. And you too? Listen, I don't remember a thing. Nothing. I don't even know why I'm so damn sure I need to go to that mountain. But I know I have to. It's all I know. Does that make any sense? That's a good... Come now, little one. You can't let good. the girls know you've got a heart. It's not like that. That's all you know. That's all the sense you need. Just believe. That's what I did. Do you better. We gotta keep Let's walking. Do <laughs> Wait! Don't leave me! No! Oh, look, another book. Great, what is this one? Advanced technology. Oh, great. Like, I don't know about that. Sometimes we discover things from the past we find hard to believe. Like a floppy disk! I still don't know how to use those. I know how to work a record player and how to play, like, an NES game. I feel like we all know how to do those. But I don't know how to friggin' floppy disks still work. I mean, I, I kind of understand how a VHS works, but I mean, not entirely certain. I've seen artifacts displaying a level of civilization that could have not have existed in the time they are claimed to have been created. Ruins are fo found built with technology far too advanced for that of their era. Noatun is said to be the one such place where this phenomenon occurs. And unsure of that I would find, I decided to investigate the Cathedral of Cascades. Cascades? The cathedral stands in the middle of the lake, requiring me to take a boat to reach it. Its outer walls were in worse condition than I had expected. A debris blocked the entrance. It took a little bit, like little improv improvisation, to find a way inside. Surprisingly, the cathedral was in much better condition indoors, and I reached the center of the building in no time. It seemed to be the base of the tower in Noatun that almost scrapes the sky, created to be symbolic of their sacred mountain, Fimblebender. They say that there used to be a path from the top of the tower that connected to the peak of the mountain. It was a strange sphere-like object sitting on the ground too. Could have been the ancient 
elevator I heard to the, heard the townspeople talking about. Curiously, I, there was no there were no wires or anything attached to it. How is it supposed to take people up to the top? I didn't see stairs either, so I assumed it was an elevator, but maybe I was wrong. Some of the things people come up with seriously, whatever that was, I wanted to figure it out. Oh, the shit, I gotta go. Hold on. Um, hold on, give me one minute. Yeah, you can listen to some tunes if you want. No, oh, okay, I can't do that. I gotta go. <laughs> Oh crap, I never did that. Oops. Okay, I could probably turn this down. Does that sound good? I mean, Gojira was listening to pretty loud. What is this, second level? Second episode, I think? Well, I wanted to figure out eventually. I snapped a photo, so I'll show it to someone who might know a thing or two about it. Of course, only after I've finished the rest of my investigation here. Look, I'm pretty sure you know, it's a country, isn't it? There's just a large sphere is sunk into the floor. This might be some of sort of device as well. I can feel the same energy as Loki's flowing through. Hey Loki, can you blow up that sphere there in the middle? I don't know. Are you one of those people that works these things? Oh, looks like somebody needs to go up to the top floor. Get on my ball. Oh, hi, Luca. How you doing? You again? Oh, hey. Mouthy Brad Kid. So, I see you're acquainted. Noah Toon? I thought it was Toon. Legend of Aesir. 
Hey, that's right, it is Ace here. My name is in Loki, it's apparently Ace here. <laughs> Legend of Aesir. A legend from the dawn of time. Nobody knows where the world came from. Mm. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms. Light, darkness, and chaos. Obviously, our world was the one born from chaos. Oh, okay. I thought we were dark. The three worlds all needed rulers. Most of all, ours. Unless you're saying ours is in the chaos. Bayonetta. Became known as Aesir. Aesir spent the first Bayonetta. eternity quietly looking upon the earth from his holy mountain. Where we only see reality and make it match our rules of the world. Aesir saw through reality. And those visions became our world. These observations became Aesir's power. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. Squish. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will. So the power he wielded was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts. The right eye of light and the left eye of darkness. By dividing the power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gained free will. They could now choose. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny, Humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Man is but a reed, the most feeble thing in nature. But now, we were thinking reeds. And we took our first big step towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir had been granted the power of creation. The eyes. That's right. Eyes of the world, controlled by a lumen sage and umbra witch. The eyes of the world? However, the influence of the right eye, the one controlled by the sages, left this world forever with the death of the final sage. <sighs> Natural disasters that are occurring right now have something to do with the loss of the right eye. And what will happen to our planet? Those are the truths I'm after. And the truth will always be the truth. So if the truth is here, then so am I. And I think the key to that truth is that mountain, Thimble Pinter. How do you find these things? I've done my homework. Would you expect anything less from the marvelous, magnificent, magnanimous Luca? Oh, great. Bayonetta, get on.
Where? Where? You're over here. Great, two of them? Of course you're gonna make them fighting, of course. to death.
course it's gonna be. I just lose my enthusiasm for the guy. Why are you like that? Told me I'd go mow the lawn. As long as he pays me, last time I did, he didn't pay me. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, guys, see you later. Bye bye. I'll let you know when that video is done. I think I already told you. Bye bye.